Tomorrow, North Korea marks the 70th anniversary of its Communist Party, and that gave Seth Doan a rare opportunity to look inside the Hermit Kingdom. The trip is carefully choreographed. We board buses and are told where we're headed. North Korea gets media coverage for its upcoming military parade, and we get a glimpse inside this infamously secretive country. This stop, a look at the metro. With its conductors, chandeliers, and piped in patriotic music. This is hardly just a casual stop at the subway. It is a deliberate effort to show us infrastructure at work. One of the things Kim Jong-un has said is that he wants to improve people's everyday life. The question is, is that really happening? Determining that is a tough task with government assigned minders who monitor our every move. No. How about this lady here? I think she doesn't like it too, then. But, but we haven't asked. Can we ask? <laughs> the power of the government is clear. Many, including children, wear pins depicting former leaders. Why do you want to wear Kim Il sung? Is it, this is my heart. This is your heart. Do you wear that pin every day? This doesn't get off in one, even in one hour. They have loosened some restrictions compared with our last trip about two years ago. For instance, now we're able to take video from the bus. However, when the bus driver made a wrong turn through a rather rundown residential neighborhood, there was a scramble, Scott, to get us out of there. Seth Doan in North Korea, thanks.